one. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there. Just... Oh, nice job working hard, posting. But also with his body movement, complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Ben Askren still undefeated in mixed martial arts, D.C. And truly, in terms of his wrestling accomplishments, one of the best American collegiate wrestlers of all time. He is one of the best American collegiate wrestlers of all time. But with Ben Askren, it boils down to, can you stop it? You know what's right. coming. Ben Askren is not a guy that's going to stand in front of you and try to kick and punch with you. He's coming to wrestle. He's coming to grapple. Can you stop it? Up to 20 guys almost have not been able to and Finn, because of his mentality, because of how mentally strong he is, feels that he can be the UFC champion even if he doesn't develop at least striking skill. And don't let the aesthetic fool you. Doesn't have the strongest core in the game. That doesn't mean he can't go a hard 25 minutes. Ben actually told me, what if this is the body that is optimal for fighting? His body and mine. I just never know. Never know. I might have a future in this game after. You might. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at his A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Ben Funky. Ah! 
And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of these martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest... Quick level change now. He went single into a high class. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, he takes him for a ride. What a fantastic takedown. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, big punch land. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, big head kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Oh, nice! Oh, we're getting a finish here! Oh, now he's in trouble! Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So. Back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? Second round here. Big call from Trust Land. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky head kick in. 
Williams in there. Nice one, two there. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, take down the tip after take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting, he's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Back to the feet now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Just over three. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nice job working hard, posting. He's shot there, DC, and one more of those he might get. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot man, is perfect. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. 20 seconds. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him for a very bad hit. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. How about those five minutes? Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready, fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Strong work with the jabs there by Lee. Nice punch land over the top. The takedown attempt is good. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that other press. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. And he's back up. Good shots, you hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combination.
combinations. Oh, well, there you go. Right there. All right, close guard now. Lee's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Position change. Wow, what a transition. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle kick, but did not yet open up to secure a top position. That's a double leg shot. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of techniques. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. That's as good a punch as he's thrown. The punch that lands down the floor, the one that you don't feel, the one that and just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here today. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will to stop in this contest at 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and...